Что значит у человека стоит сущ на защите? What does it mean when they say that this person has an entity as protection? The person did not commission, did not summon the entity to serve her, didn't do any magical rituals. She found out about it by accident, from a witch. Why did she receive it and for what? Can she lose it? What are the entity's obligations in sphere of interest? What will it protect this person from and what will it not? Can a person get in contact with this entity, come to some sort of an agreement? What this entity will be protecting this person from and where did it come from here, I won't be able to answer you. But if the person did not summon this entity and it is in fact there to protect her, then it is more likely that this is a bloodline type protection that was passed on to her by one of the ancestors. Yes, the contact can be established. This would be a blood-related contact. There are specific blood rituals that help you to locate your kin protector. It is just that the term entity is nowadays considered sort of indecent and carries an inappropriate connotation in relation to the force that is protecting you. I think that we should begin with changing the language. Call it your family genius, your bloodline protector. Call him a numenon. And the contact process will go much smoother. Because respect is acceptance, and acceptance is safety. Your family protection, or rather the family protection of the person you're referring to, is overall a program, but a very specific program. It happens that these programs can be quite intelligent, and if this was diagnosed as an entity, then it is clearly intelligent. Possibly, it could be one of your progenitors, mutated, modified into a particular systemic value that is called to protect you, possibly by blood. Therefore, you could do a blood ritual. You could use runes, bind runes with your protector of the kin. You could certainly try that, and rune staffs. Find them online or make a rune staff yourself. It would be two intertwined runes, Othal and Algis. By drawing these runes in blood, lighting a candle, establishing a channel, closing off the space using the Thor's hammer sign, meaning everything that is usually done in rune work if you do work with runes. Also through meditation, in contact, through runes or pendulum or automated writing, whatever skills you possess, or through a meditative contact, get in touch with it and start communicating. Communicating. Begin to establish an interaction, like you would with a friend, not an enemy. If you won't be afraid of it, it will work even better than it did before, and more than just for protection. Kai Selin writes, Can you combine shamanic practices with the Scandinavian pantheon? To be more precise, working with the Kitgem Dreamcatcher, I am studying runes in your school. Also regarding my exit from the Christian Egregor, does this mean that my five-year-old child exited with me or will he have to do that on his own when he is grown? Let's begin with the Dreamcatcher. No, there is no conflict at all. The shamanic Dreamcatcher works great. After all, these are all our pagan traditions and therefore they don't contradict each other.